Welcome to the Smart Spotlight, our monthly update covering helpful resources, new product releases, and behind the scenes access to tech events around the world. As a global company committed to inspiring your greatness, we're here to empower students, teachers, and leaders with the right tools and resources for success. We've just released our largest lineup ever of new smart boards. And we're giving you a backstage pass to the global ed tech events we unveiled them at. From London to Florida to Texas and everywhere in between. Teachers and leaders are loving the exciting new features that bridge physical and digital learning like never before. Today, we'll share a few insights from two main events, FETC in Florida and BET in London. We'll recap some key features demonstrated on our latest SmartBoard 6000S series and hear directly from students and teachers about how they see these new tools shaping the future of education. Plus, a look at our revolutionary new exclusive platform, ToolSense. Feel free to share with your colleagues, networks, and subscribe by clicking the red subscribe button below to be the first to know about new episodes. All right, we're excited to be here at FETC. We have three new displays that we've launched and continuing our innovation and pushing the needle for the most collaborative experience, the most intuitive experience, all of our displays have HyperTouch. With our developed HyperTouch, you have the ability to do tools like simultaneous tool differentiation. What does that mean for the classroom and for the educator? It simply means that you have the ability to work at the display, paying attention to the content, not to the tools that you're working on. So you can see that Frazier and I are able to interact, he's able to ink, I can move things around at the same time without worrying about the tool choice of our peers. So we are standing in front of the 6000S, so it is a revolutionary new display from Smart this season where we are bringing forward a completely new interactive technology that we call ToolSense. And ToolSense is, again, exclusive to Smart and is bringing this new ability to bridge between physical objects and physical tools and digital learning in the classroom. Hi, welcome to BET 2020. I'm here with Smart Technologies. I know you're going to hear quite a lot of buzz, particularly BET this year, what is ToolSense and what it is. But ToolSense is the fact that we all know the smart board knows that it's a red pen, it knows the black pen. But actually, if you enter the mix of a purple pen, an orange pen, a blue pen, and I'm running out of fingers to catch all these now, green pen, ToolSense actually understands what's touching the board. So if I write in a black, surprise, surprise, it's black, or an orange, or a green, all of those are there. Tactile objects, something that is concrete that you can touch, which will interact, interact with the board. So if I just bring my basket of tools here, um, these are just some examples here. So if I just take it, took a, a stamp star. So if I've got the, the pictorial element is on the board, is there is the star, but here is my concrete. So if I'm trying to count the stars, count the objects, First of all, the children are going to be learned by touching and holding these stars. How many cubes have I got? This one, this one, this one. And then those actually become stamps. So now I've got one, two, three stars. And then with the pens underneath, I can make that an abstract of, yes, now I've got three. And it just begins that journey of learning. And the children can actually physically see this. They can actually touch that line on there. And I can see it's the square next on that one there. If you can imagine me placing the ruler tool onto the display, rotating and manipulating that digital object with a physical tool, it just makes people think differently when they're engaging at the display. I what about this fun thing? Let's have a go. What do you think that yellow finger does? Well, my guess is it might be a yellow pen. So imagine being able to, you know, if a student isn't able to grab a pen and they want to interact with a, uh, a glove to, to, you know, be able to access the content, they now have the ability. We really anticipate completely new workflows and a new type of engagement in the classroom on the back of this new technology, again, exclusively from Smart Technologies. It's great to see that it's smart, it's moving forward and it's never stagnant. And looking at the new technology today, it's an excellent way of moving a tactile thing into a digital presentation. So I can only imagine the children are going to love the next stages going forward. We have looked at the 6000S today and we were absolutely amazed by the innovation. Previously, the technology was contained within the pen that linked up with the smart board. What we saw today was almost magical because the technology is actually within the board. So we can take concrete objects now that we use on a day-to-day -day basis in our classrooms and we can translate that to the board and turn learning into a collaborative and very enjoyable experience for our children. 
for me using the tool sense uh, we can already see activities that we do physically and um, paper based can now be created digitally such as creating uh, maths equations or sequences and patterns I think that's going to be you know, the possibilities are endless. Just being able to pick up a phone, to look on the internet, to get that support, that backup from such a big organisation is amazing. I am very passionate about moving schools forward into the 21st century and getting the next digital innovations out for the children's learning. Parents are loving it. <laughs> I've used smartboards in the past to learn about these topics, for example, in my engineering courses, where we're able to brainstorm ideas and different complex situations and do them all in the board and we can all work together at the same time and brainstorm. I really like the shout it out activities especially because I'm in a lot of clubs and it usually gets like really rowdy and just a big mess so I really like how you can tap the screen and then people can just write their ideas and then oh look these are the ideas who likes them who doesn't and they just trash it. I love physics and math and like this board could help a lot with like the experience also like, working with the teacher and like just learning through like the games and like interactions and like abilities that the board has to present like the new information that I need to learn and that will just increase like my knowledge and things. I found it very impressive to see just how the Chrome is like already inserted into the smart board because it's like you have your own computer in built into the smart board so besides doing all the whiteboard space you can pull up like another app and you can start working on it right away instead of having to switch from device to device. My favorite class is anatomy and implementing the smart boards into our class is very fun to see how we could use that to like draw on top of the pictures and just see the organs and have like a better view of them and just like a better understanding of the physiology and how they all work together. We'd love to hear how you could see using new tool sense technology in your classroom. Drop a note in the comment section below and let us know. If you're interested in seeing these revolutionary new lineups in action, click the link below to book a demo. That's that's it for our latest edition of the Smart Spotlight. Don't forget to hit the red subscribe button below to keep up on all the latest and greatest. We hope these ongoing updates and tools help to make your job a little easier in continuing to transform education and inspire greatness. Thanks for watching.